Today I want to talk about the Demonata series by Darren Shan. Um, when I was reading this series for the first time, I was like um, 50 years old and it was my second fantasy series I've ever read. It's a 10 book about um, a war against humanity and demons who live in their own university called the Demonata. The order is um, Lord Lost, Demon Thief, Slaughter, Big, Blood Beast, Demon Apocalypse, Death Shadow, Wolf Island, Dark Calling, and The Hell's Heroes. Yeah, of course, I had some cheats. This series is about three protagonists who are all part of the age-old weapon known as the Kagash. This weapon is so powerful, who can destroy it, um, the entire university with its all creatures. Groups Grady is the ginger boy who turned to a werewolf in the middle of story but he didn't lose his mind completely because of the power of the Kagash. And Colonel Flake is the bald boy who can see some tiny lights and can touch them and bring them together to create um, window for traveling all over the Dimunata's world. And Beck, the girl, she is the memory of Kagosh and she can memorize everything easily. This series is brilliant and it has so many wicked action scenes and it, it's sometimes so frightening. Each books connect with each other in a very intelligent way and the plot is so cleverly, cleverly changed the ups and downs. This series writing in a present tense and the darling Sean does it brilliantly cynical and different storytelling full of surprises and uh, unexpected events. There are so many violent scenes that I think it's better for children not to read this series. Some of the books are significant as a story like Beck, um, Demon Thief or Death Shadows but some others, um, some of them weren't as entertaining as the others and it sometimes was so boring for me that I think Darinshan could finish the series in the like less books. Doreen Shan as an author always has a philosophical subject in the of the series that sometimes it's so hard to understand and you have to reread it a couple times to understand the subject. And he always has a traveling to the past plot um, that sometimes is unknowing like, um, I don't know, lives of the night series of Doreen Shan. But this time, turning our three heroes into a god and recreate the entire world was a genius topic of ever read. And it's almost shocking me. The second characters are as important as the main characters. And I really enjoy to see that the secondary characters have their own purpose in any story as main characters. So this series is Unput downable absolutely. And my favorites are um, Lord Lost, Beck, Blood Beast, and Hell's Heroes. And I really enjoy this series. So, this is it. See you in the next video.